Moving on then to the matter of the day, uh, Ms Naomi Long has been given leave to make a statement on the death of Mr David Cook, which fulfils the criteria set out in Standing Order 24. If other members wish to be called, they should do so by rising in their places and continuing to do so. All members called will have up to three minutes to speak on the subject, and I would remind members that I will not take any uh, points of order on this or any other matter until the item of business has finished. Um, before I would call on uh, Ms Naomi Long, I would just like to make the point personally uh, that I knew David very well and worked with him in Belfast City Council. Uh, many would know that the times that we were both in the City Council in the 80s and onwards, uh, there were at times very toxic uh, circumstances. David was always a man who was very measured, very civil, very polite and easy to work with. I may not always agree politically, but that's irrelevant. Um, so I just want to pass on my own personal condolences to the family of David Cook. And I now call Naomi Long. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker, and, and thank you for your um, words um, about David. I'm obviously very sad, but also honoured to be rising today to pay tribute to an Alliance founding member, David Cook, who passed away peacefully on Saturday evening after a brief illness. Having suffered a stroke a few weeks ago, he sadly contracted COVID-19. On occasions like this, I'm reminded uh, that it's because of the vision and courage of people like David Cook and all those who came together to form the Alliance Party that I'm standing here today in this chamber and that people have the option of voting for a different kind of political representation committed to the creation of one community, united but diverse and inclusive. We're proud of their hard work, their desire to see a better way forward for Northern Ireland and their determination to make it happen. And we're committed to continuing that work for a new generation. David was not only a leader within Alliance as a member of our first executive and later as deputy leader from 1980 to 1984, but he also broke the mould in City Hall when he became the first non-unionist to be elected Lord Mayor in 1978. He served South Belfast faithfully in Belfast City Council from 1973 until 1985, and then at the ill-fated Northern Ireland Assembly from 1982 to 86. He was also a committed European and stood as a European parliamentary candidate in 1984. In more recent years, he continued his interest in alliance and was a regular party conferences and dinners over the years. His loss in this, our 50th year, is all the more poignant as we never got to celebrate that anniversary together as a result of COVID-19, to which he ultimately and tragically succumbed. He also continued with his work in community projects because that was what led him into politics and that was what he continued to do in his retirement from politics. My thoughts and those of the Alliance fa uh, family are very much with his wife Fanula today, with his sons Barbara, John, Patrick, Julius and Dominic, his granddaughters Romy and Imogen and his sisters Alison and Nora and the wider family circle as they mourn his passing. David was a beacon of liberalism during very dark times. And he was a trailblazer for equality, respect and fairness when all three were in short supply. He offered the hope of change when hope was scarce, and for that we will always be grateful. He was also a gentleman, well liked by those who met him and dearly loved by those who knew him, not least for his warm wit and his sense of humour. He will be very sadly missed by us all. Thank you. And I call Robin Newton. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and uh, I rise uh, to speak on behalf of the Democratic Unionist Party, and first of all to extend my sympathy and indeed that of the party to uh, David Cook's wife, Fanula, and indeed to the wider family circle. As you mentioned, uh, Mr. Speaker, David Cook served in Belfast City Council. I didn't have the uh, opportunity to serve on a time when uh, David was a public representative. But indeed, he uh, represented South Belfast and in particular the Crummock Ward, as it was known at that time. And uh, certainly in my time, anything I had heard about David Cook uh, was always extremely positive. I think. Uh, Mr. Speaker, he came into service, uh, public service, at a time when it was much more difficult, much more dangerous than perhaps it is today. And he brought into uh, civic life his own particular skills, not only his personality, but indeed his skills, uh, his legal mind, 
uh, and applied those uh, to, to, to problems. I think uh, we are all the sadder in society for the loss of uh, David Cook, not only in the political realm, but indeed in the community realm where he concentrated his efforts after his retirement from politics. So I finish as, as I started, uh, Mr. Speaker, and extend uh, the sympathies of the uh, Democratic Unionist Party to our colleagues in the Alliance Party and indeed to the family circle. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank you, and I call John O'Dowd. Can I also, uh, in terms of your opening remarks around Christopher and Daniel, and wish them uh, a speedy recovery uh, as well. Um, I want, want to pass on my deepest sympathies on behalf of Sinn Féin and to David Cook, his family, to his wife Fanula, and, and to the Alliance family as well. Uh, I, I, I knew David through meeting him through uh, various uh, events and uh, his, his community work. Uh, I always found him, as you have said, to be a gentleman, uh, to someone who was prepared to listen, who uh, engaged with you in a respectful manner. And in my opinion, was always in that listening mode. It's easy to have a conversation with someone and nod your head, but when somebody you can say that there, there's somebody who's taking on my point of view, we're taking on each other's point of view. We may not always agree, uh, but I think that, that that's a tribute that has to be that has to be paid to him. I also know and have met his wife Fanula on several occasions uh, as well, uh, and I have to say they were a lovely couple, always very welcoming and very warm. Uh, I wish the family my deepest sympathies. Uh, it's, it is another reminder, uh, if we need one, of, of the dangers that COVID-19 presents our community uh, and another tragic loss for a family as a result of this terrible disease. But I, I pass on my sympathies and the sympathies of my party to all concerned. Okay, thank you. And I call Matthew O'Toole. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, uh, and, and I too would associate my, uh, myself and my party with re remarks you made about constituency colleague Christopher Stalford and, and indeed my, my party colleague Daniel. Um, as with others, we'd like to pass on in the SDLP our sincere condolences to David Cook's family, his wife Fanula, and the broader family, and indeed um, our Alliance Party colleagues. Um, David Cook was clearly someone who represented um, among the very best of our politics and our society, someone who cared immensely about finding the common ground and building and expanding the common ground between uh, in a conflicted society. Um, uh, Naomi Long talked about, uh, I, I believe on Twitter, about the, the, the painting of David Cook from his term as Belfast Lord Mayor. Well, I, I remember that my first trip to Belfast City Hall as a schoolboy um, at some point, uh, seeing these very grand portraits and then seeing a uh, a more modern, bright, colourful painting done by Neil Shawcross. Uh, I didn't know who David Cook was then. Uh, I probably didn't, I didn't know who David Shawcross, Neil Shawcross was then. But in many ways, that painting, I suppose, stood for a, a lot of what um, David Cook seemed to stand for, bold, progressive, um, moder modern politics. And his loss will clearly be felt uh, 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 by the Alliance family, also by uh, people in South Belfast. He was, a, in a sense, a predecessor of mine as an Assembly member for there. So um, a, a deeply sad day for his family, but hopefully his family will look on today, and indeed the Alliance Party family will look on at the warm words being uh, said about him here today in the Northern Ireland Assembly uh, and be consoled that his, his legacy is a very proud and important one. Thank you. And I call Rosemary Barton. Thank you very much. Firstly, can I also send our party's best wishes to Christopher and Daniel and wish them both a full recovery. Uh, I would also, on behalf of the party, like to express our condolences to Mr. Cook and his, to Mr. Cook's family and his wife on their recent bereavement. While I did not, did not know Mr. Cook, I understand he was a great community person, he was great company and a gentleman. While in politics we do have our differences, I think at this time particularly we put them aside. And I also would like to express the, our greatest sympathy to the Alliance Party. Thank you. Thank you. And I call Stuart Dixon. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, and um, again, if I could just open my remarks by, by um, asking the, the Assembly to, to thank and think about uh, Christopher Stalford and, and Daniel McCrossan in the circumstances they find themselves in at the moment. 
I, I rise, Speaker, just to, to add a personal tribute to that of the uh, remembrance of David Cook at this time and, and to send my sympathies to Fanula uh, and the wider circle. I came into elected politics in 1977. David was already an elected representative by that stage. And I have fond memories of David and Fanula. Not only were they key in listening to the sort of speeches that they made at party meetings and at party conferences. But David and Fanula were also there for young branches starting up in the Alliance Party. They were always there to help us canvas, pointing us in the right direction and encouraging us in those days. And that's what it was all about. It was the encouragement that David and Fanula gave to all of us in respect of the party. I also had a professional relationship with David Cook. He was a solicitor in Sheldon and Stewart, and I was working as a conciliation officer in the Labour Relations Agency. We could have been canvassing or at party meetings at the weekend, but on a Monday, I had to deal with him on a professional basis. He was very professional in his work as a solicitor. He, he worked very hard for his, for, his, for his clients, and I remember those meetings with fondness. But we always had a good chat afterwards as to what had been going on at the weekend. So, Mr. Speaker, I just want to, to add my, my personal um, and deep-felt uh, condolences to Fanula and the family at this very sad time. Thank you. Okay, members, thank you. And that brings that matter to a close. Um, could I ask members to take a raise for a moment or two, please?